So they arrive at the place where they're going to meet their, their contact, and just as they arrive, he is captured by bounty hunters outside of the saloon or whatever this place is. And and Steve was like, oh no, that's our contact. And oh, well. because this is written like absolute crap, she says, hmm, did the blood axes give you any other way to contact them other than through this guy? And Steven's like, um, yeah, uh, they told me that they are sheltered by King Sharan, oh no, King Levitica on planet Sharan, so we'll have to go there. And it's like, sorry, oh. the rebel team told you who is sheltering them and where when you'd met them for the first time and provided them some grain. Wow. That's I'm glad that horrible. we're establishing the this is so that every faction is retarded in this world. So horribly written. It's like number one, they would never tell you that. Otherwise, they were that's just hyper retarded. Two, like, why didn't you bring this up before? That's that's more useful information than go and talk to this guy. That that would be the 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 direct instead of the through a middleman. Like it's crazy. And he's just like, yeah, no, I haven't really got any more information except exactly where they are. That's about all I have. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then um, it's so awkward because the guy's getting dragged away. And they just walk and they past just him. him. <laughs> they leave him to his fate. They're like, well, you have no usefulness yeah, to us. Yeah, he was going to help us, but, well, he got you know, caught, I he guess. Has, it's so he funny because... Massive he, usefulness to the, to the plot for the bad guys, though. Yeah, and he's also, he's also he'd be invested in the, um, sort of the, the, the cause. Yeah, but oh well, uh, whatever. But, yeah, he's, I he's think uh, for you, you were like, "Oh, what kind of action scene are we gonna get to save him?" And they just walk past him. And they just walk <laughs> past him, and I'm like, "Yeah, oh, they're like, oh shit." <laughs> I guess that okay. Like, oh well, plan yeah. B. Uh, yeah, they say like, before we go visit your rebel friends, we need to get General Titus and a genius plan for finding General Titus. Who I think all we know about him is that he led a rebellion against the Mother Will, despite being one of their generals, and then he was disgraced and. <laughs> he, he was sent, I guess, to Roman planet to be uh, in the gladiator. He was sent yeah. to gladiator planet. So, um, oh, and then, yeah, uh, so just keep all that in mind. We get, they walk into a cantina-like place, and then we get what feels like one-to-one -one choice of shots with Star yeah. Wars. Like, this just feels like a blatant ripoff. It's just like, look at that alien, look at this alien, look at this alien, look at this alien. And it's yeah. just like, when... <laughs> When TFA does this, we make fun of them, but at least TFA is a part of the same series, so it, you can treat it as though it's reverence and be yeah. like, look. Whereas we're, in this case, they do it, and then they're like, oh, what's better than Disney? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> and it's so overtly alien, and yet within, like, it's, it's so close to their little settlement. And you're just like, damn. Yeah, um, and also in keeping in keeping with Star Wars, uh, especially Disney Star Wars, um, no aliens join their team. Actually, they're all people. They're no, all humans. no aliens. Oh yeah, you're no right. aliens. To give a, a better understanding of what we're trying to get at as well, you know, Luke and his family and stuff. They, there's loads of things that uh, are what you would call maybe old age or archaic, like tech or approaches. But there's also loads of updated stuff. It's like a big. <laughs> It feels like advanced old. Like, uh, it's, it's like we're not going to rebuild the building because that's just not yeah. feasible to rebuild the whole building. But we well, can we're gonna install, use droids and stuff. Yeah, we're we're going to use. We can buy a droid, and they could use droids in the bar, or we can buy we some nice car, TVs. You know, you know? Car, like if you go radio. to houses that are built in the yeah, 19, like the speeder. tens or twenties, they'll have electricity. Mm -hmm. They they've they've put in gas lines and electricity want lines and stuff like that. You know. But in this case, it is just like a Viking village that looks like it's from 500 years ago. Well, much further than that, actually, if it's a Viking village. It looks old. Very, 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 very old. But not aged. It looks old, but like it was recently built. Except it's a crazy sci-fi world with massive spaceships and aliens and crazy tech. Um, it's bizarre. Is what it's it like is. a pair of jeans and they make them where the like knees are worn off. Yeah, deliberately. Except not even that. They're just pristine, like, jeans. Except they're... <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's just bizarre. It's so strange. Then we introduce Rapey Pigman, who's, uh... Mm -hmm. Wait, more rape... more rapers? Oh, no. Yeah, but, but throw a bit more in, and, uh... Oh, my goodness. He's like, I want to sex Steven. And then she's like, no. And then... The gay rapist, very progressive. pulls out a knife to her neck in this... 
what I assume is a bar where you're not allowed to just randomly well, threaten people like that. I presume it's just it's just that he doesn't like you. I don't like you either. Kind of, they're doing that bit, you know. Well, you I'm know, just, it's now uh, conflict. It's so much better here, we go, here. because yes, yeah, she yeah, she beats him up and then he's like, "Oh, you rascally rabbit! I'm I'll get you!" and I'll and leaves. And uh, when he's left, she's like, okay, everyone listen up. Does anyone know where General Titus is? <laughs> Which, like, what the fuck, man? What like, what? Obi-Wan, when he needed what he needed, he was, like, talking to specific people and trying to move around. Like, not You don't just announce, you're already, like, in potential trouble. He's someone you're not even allowed to, like, associate with necessarily. But whatever. She's cr crazy clever. And then it's just some an alien just goes, I know where General Titus is. It's like, oh, good. But you just happened to know That's this. really this good. Is, he was super That's useful. helpful that he's here at this bar and it was just there. Yeah. Tell him this. Of That's course good. he knows where General Titus is. And he explains. This is, he's writing on. is easy. Right, writing stories is so easy. easy. Why, so why easy. do you two guys? Why, how come you guys say that it's hard? It's really easy. And so, uh, yeah, he's on Roman planet. You got to go to Roman planet to get it. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, well, I guess we'll head there. But then Pigman comes back, and now he's got mercenaries with him. Oh, no, they've got right. guns. So, really, it's a remix on the cantina, because after the guy got his arm chopped off, they just went back to playing the music here. They went back to playing the music, and then we got a fight scene. Well, in A New Hope, they call the cops. That's right, they do. They call the they call, the, they call the stormtroopers like, dude, this guy came in here with like a weird laser sword or whatever, and he cut off this dude's arm. That's not cool. I'm gonna call the police, and then and the police show up looking for him. Blood goes places, but don't worry. The R-rated vision yeah, of this will have blood. Vikings. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so they all miss every single shot except the ones that hit the wooden table. She uses a shield against these plasma weapons, which works. And they just don't go through. Um, it's so weird. Yeah, it, it's it's actually crazy. They plasma weapons very tiny thin coffee table. Very explicitly show us that the wood uh, is a good strong shield against plasma. It's like okay, which uh, is weird because even like so. the weakest of bullets will go through thin we'll go layers through wood. of wood. Yeah, yeah. no and wood these is sci-fi guns. Yeah, and so they all die. Uh, there's one left that might just get our main character, but then uh, Sons of Anarchy Man shoots him, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah. And uh, he's oh, like, look, I heard you're guy. looking for a pilot in this cantina. <laughs> I can help you. I'm a pilot. I made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. <laughs> and you might think my ship's a piece of junk, but it's actually really great and real fast. Um this character is such a, like, it, it, it's so bad on the part of the writer. And it's so confusing. I thought it was terrible writing first time around, but it turns out it's terrible characterization it's on the part of our main characters. Yeah. It's, um, he basically says, I'm not a mercenary, I'm an opportunist, I just do whatever's best benefiting me. And uh, when, we, when we walk into this place, we see that he's getting paid off by the bounty hunters who are searching for any information on the blood axes, right? So you could assume some form of an alignment there. And then he's like, I can help you guys. You're, uh, you know, you're doing something for a cause, right? And I think she just, I think Steven says, oh, we're just, we're just farmers. And then she says, we're organizing a thing to take on the mother we're world and free our... Yeah. It's just like, what the f*** are you doing? Like, how about you shut the f*** how up, is, woman? How is Steven the one that's like much more you know savvy with all of this what he's <laughs> he's displaying common sense yeah and she's just like we are here to make a rebellion who knows where the general is of the rebellion that we can go visit to make a rebellion and so he's Do you uh, know he says he'll uh, he'll he'll join and help him and then they're like well but you know payment i guess and he's like pay me what you will and and it's the like, main character does and think, hmm, that's really sus. That's super uh, sus. You know, um, like I said, mm. first time through, I was just like, well, that was terribly written. But if it, uh, the thing about it is, it's 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 fiction. If I met someone who did this in real life, I wouldn't trust them because I'd be like, you're doing something that costs you for no reason, at least from what I can tell. What's going on? What's the motive? Wait, wait, are you talking about the guy who literally says I'm an opportunist? You're talking about that guy, right? Yeah, mm. yeah I would think uh, I'm an the opportunist. The guy who literally says I'm just an opportunist. Mm. And she tells him everything? Yep. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, fair enough. I don't I don't see what the and even is. Steven's like, what are you doing? Like, 
Because he's so, like... It's so funny watching this over and talking about it. He is easily the best character because there's something else he's going to do that puts him above everyone else uh, a bit it's later. It's like he's normal. Yeah. In this crazy world filled yeah. with boobers, he's a he's normal guy. He's kind of our normal character, which elevates yeah. him far above all the rest of the Zack Snyder characters. He's just some guy. He's just a guy. Hello, you just listened to a segment of the podcast Every Frame of Pause, or EFAP, hosted by YouTubers Mahler, Rags, and Fringy, and joined by a cycling variety of guests across the internet. They critically analyze media with exhaustive detail while pausing at every single frame. Subscribe to the EFAP channel and catch new episodes on Saturdays, as well as catch their smaller videos reacting to the latest and not-so-greatest movies and TV shows throughout the week. You can also subscribe here to EFAP highlights for the latest shorts, clips, and supercuts also up uploaded throughout the week. Links to all the relevant channels can be found in the description section below, as well as links to their communities on Reddit and Discord. Thanks for watching.